Hi guys and welcome to Real Food. Join me while I react to Twin Peaks Season 1, Episode 3. I've only seen two episodes so far, but I am in love with this show. There are so many layers to this mystery. Who is this creepy guy behind the couch? Who is this one-armed man? Who is this mystery man that Laura Palmer mentions in the tapes? that she sends to that sicko Dr. Jacoby. I've got a damn fine cup of coffee here, and I've got a doni to keep me company, so let's dive into episode three. Previously on Twin Peaks. We can talk. Gotta confess I love a last time on because it really highlights for me all of the things I should really be noticing, so. Yes, I found out Warren Frost does, uh, is related to Mark Frost. It's his dad, I do believe. Someone highlighted that for me. Whoa. What? Oh, is this her brother? We're starting off with a delicious meal. I can't see what it is. No, 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 not. Oh boy. In here. Mary, back from Paris. Ben, what a nightmare. Right there. No, no, right there. What is with you guys? I've got a sandwich in there. I want all those bags open. A sandwich? We find it. Hey, Audrey. Oh, great. Another. Creepy character. Benjamin! Oh, oh, oh. okay. <laughs> Those sandwiches. <laughs> Brother Ben, this is the <laughs> sandwich I ever ate. It's a baguette. Oh, oh. Keep it simple, but delicious. You gotta try this. Thing. This guy's like a Sean Penn lookalike. Am I wrong? Mmm, you smell that baguette, sir. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, right out the middle. Oh, mm. oh, oh, don't sit in the fire. Oh, mm. oh, hell yeah, it's way better than the peas on your plate. This lady's not having it. You know what this reminds us of? Mm. You know what this? Mm. It reminds us of Jenny and Jenny down by the river. Mm. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Am I right? Oh, no wonder! Uh-huh. Mmm. Mmm. Here. Outside. Outside. Mmm. Hello, Grace. What's that? Ew, like what? What are you even saying? Yeah, lady, but hey, you married him. Leland's daughter was murdered and a Norwegian's left. Did they sign? Deal's off. Oh, oh. We had those Vikings by the horns. What happened? We're not 100% sure. They took the translator with them. Palace, more upset about the deal than the murder. Did you say Leland's daughter oh. was murdered? Yes. I'm depressed. Oh, okay. Some empathy. I can fix that. There's a new girl with one eye jacks, freshly scented from the perfume counter. What? And you, Brother Chair, have a 50 50 chance of being first in line. What? <laughs> I like those ads. A lot of food, a lot of food references. I'm into this. That's great, Huckleberry Pie, Mrs. Hayward. Oh my god, more food references? Huckleberry pie. Delicious. What even is Huckleberry? Good night, sir. Good night. Uh, don't worry about the dishes. I'll clean up. Are you uh, coming to church with us in the morning, Donna? Yes. Nine o'clock sharp. Okay. Good night, James. Good night, sir. 
control. You know they're going to get rid of that space on the couch between them as soon as their parents leave. Huh? What is this now? What? Wowzers. Good evening, Mr. Hart. She has uh, got to be chilly. This is one-eyed Jax, I would assume. Oh. Oh my goodness gracious me. Oh. <laughs> That's the madam. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? <laughs> thou art more lovely and more temperate, nor lose possession of that fair thou owest, nor shall death. Where's the new girl? This guy's cutting right to the chase. When you really want love, you'll find it waiting for you. <sighs> it's. What? Ah. <laughs> mm. What is this like? Heads you get lucky, tails not so much. Come on, we'll take care of you, Jerry. Oh. God, okay. I mean, I'm all for having fun with consent, of course, but there's something untoward happening here, I think. Donna, I don't think that what we're feeling or doing is wrong. <laughs> These guys. Because it's the truth. Because I think it would have turned out this way anyway. I remember a time in school, in the hall, we were suddenly alone and... We looked at each other. I almost told you I loved you then. Okay, well. It's true. It is true, isn't it? No, oh, Jack, it's that. I guess because of Laura, I couldn't say anything. I couldn't even let myself think it. Me too. Oh, yeah. Just risky business with your parents upstairs, so I'm just saying. <laughs> I love this guy. I knew it was a kazoo. Ooh, ooh, did I? Is it? He f seems to be feeling good. Special Agent Dale Cooper. Hello, it's Hawk. Hey, Hawk, how is Ronette Pulaski? Body and spirit are still far apart. What did you find out from her parents? Everything else is quiet, except this afternoon there was a one-armed man snooping around in intensive care. A one-armed man? Left. Did you question him? Negative. I pursued, but he got away. Sneaky. Maintain an around-the-clock watch on Ronette, and we'll speak in the morning. Jack with one eye. One eye Jack. Huh? It's a tip to go and check out that place. You got it? Oh, well, gosh. These troublemakers. Switchblade. That's never good. What are these fools up to? Is that a giant flashlight or a video camera? A giant flashlight. I'm supposed to leave it in this stupid football. Oh. Yeah. Not all of it. Oh. <laughs> Is that a gun? Okay, yep. Yeah. Here we go. Ooh, why are there so many creeps in the forest? 
Pass it over here, quarterback. It's empty. Is that right? Weren't you supposed to leave something in there for me? This barely covers what we paid for. Where's the rest? Where's the rest of the money? There's a... There's a problem. Problem? Laura had the other half in a safe deposit box. Oh. Think you got problems? We can get it, Leo. Just wait till everything settles down. You punks owe me ten grand. Leo needs a new pair of sh <laughs> Do you, though? <sighs> we won't take delivery on the drugs until you get the cash. Do I look like a bank? I appreciate your position. But this thing with Laura, how can I anticipate that kind of thing? Man, hey man, Laura was a wild girl. Someday. Take your hand out of your pocket, Mike. What is your problem, Leo? Problem? You want to know about problems? Okay. No. Driving back and forth, gone for days. You get back and guess what? What? You find out your old lady's been giving it away. Oh. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, is she? Stepping out in your own damn bedroom. Is she, is she getting with him? That's a problem. Oh, yeah. I guess so. Oh. Yes, it is. Oh, that's a problem. Do you know who? Man needs a clean house. I forgot about that. Sure, yeah. So do you know who? I'll take care of it. Sure you will, man. And this other thing, hell, we'll take care of that. Don't you worry about that. We'll get the cash and everything. Bobby, what are you doing? Go out for a pass. What? Go out for a pass. I can't really sleep. Just run. What? Take it easy, man. Take it easy. Damn it, I'm done, Bobby. Let us get the hell out of here. Is that a different football? Oh boy, what's going on now? Car hands. Oh, gas farm guy. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh you've done it. Honey, I didn't see it there. You stepped on my drape runner. Well, honey, it was right out in the middle of the floor. It's true. I was up all night working on that invention. I'm going to have the world's first 100% quiet runner. Well, I'm real sorry, Nadine. Ed, you make me sick! Yeah, row it out, girl. Row out that anger. <clears throat> This lady is strong. Oh, donuts. That's it. It's perfect. What do you think he's up to? Invitation to love. Each day brings a new beginning. And this poor woman. Hold the promise of an invitation to love right uh -huh. why are they living in like a half house i'm curious it's a big bad bobcat are you crazy what are you doing here i just passed bobcat it's up out north and we got at least 20 minutes bobby parked in the woods come on open says me somebody might see me out here now. no get rid of this guy he's just as much trouble no kelly yes You've set that boundary. Yes. Oh my god. Uh, the men in the show. What the hell happened to you? Leo Johnson happened to me. Come here. Bobby, if he finds out about us, he's gonna kill you. He'll kill us both. Not if I kill him first. If he ever does this to you again, I'll kill him. I mean it. This is the loudest leather jacket I ever heard. Okay, I don't like mm. this. Uh, uh. 
These two people, though, you cheat away. I'm into this. Cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. Come in right up. This guy needs a less unhinged woman, I think. But, guys, don't be so obvious about it, though, could you? It's not the first time. It won't be the last. But I'm in that doghouse again. <laughs> what happened this time? Well, popped a grease gun, stepped on a drape runner, and all hell broke loose. She's got one big bee in her bonnet. Yeah, you Young Bobby sure gave me a good one, didn't he? Could be a more, little bit more subtle. Put him right down there by the donuts, deputy. Anyone for a warm up? Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh. Right Thanks, Lucy. Thank you. Damn good coffee. And hot. <laughs> ah. Okay, what's this guy up to? By way of explaining what we're about to do, I am first going to tell you a little bit about the country called Tibet. Okay. Okay. An extremely spiritual country. For centuries, the leader of Tibet has been known as the Dalai Lama. Okay. In 1959, after a Tibetan uprising against the Chinese, the Dalai Lama was forced to flee to India for his life and has lived in exile ever since. Following a dream I had three years ago, I have become deeply moved by the plight of the Tibetan people and filled with a desire to help them. I also awoke from the same dream, realizing that I had subconsciously gained knowledge of a deductive technique involving mind-body coordination operating hand-in-hand -hand with the deepest level of intuition. Excuse me, what? Sheriff, Deputy Hawk, if you will please assist me, I will now demonstrate. This guy has magical powers. I knew it. You will recall on the day of her death, Laura Palmer wrote the following entry in her diary. Nervous about meeting Jay tonight. Today, we're going to concentrate on the Jays. Mm. Harry, when I give the word, would you please read aloud each of the names I've written on the blackboard? Okie doke. Deputy Hawk, stand over here and hold this bucket of rocks up near me where I can get to them. Move <laughs> down, stand by the bottle. What? Okay, this is getting weirder now, though. Not too near, Andy. Oh, mm. I'm getting excited. Mm -hmm. And if I should strike the bottle after Sheriff Truman says a particular name, make a check to the right of that name. Oh, Sheriff, I almost forgot. When you say the name, also briefly state that person's relationship to Laura Palmer. Okay. Uh, 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 what? James Hurley. Secret boyfriend. James Hurley. Boom. No. Not guilty. Josie Packard. Josie Packard. So, there's no check next to either of these names? Mm-hmm. She's following. Mm-hmm. Dr. Lawrence Jacoby. Oh. Dr. Lawrence Jacoby. This guy. Sicko. <sighs> oh! Make a note that the bottle was struck, but did not break. Very important. Mm -hmm. Suspect, suspect alert. Johnny Horn. This kid didn't do it. Yeah, way off. Eliminate. Norma Jennings. No. This is last name Jays too, hey? Okay. Kelly Johnson. No. <laughs> Guys, stay alert. It didn't hurt. It didn't hurt a bit. <laughs> rude. That's rude. The idea for all this really came from a dream? Yes, it did. Mm, this is questionable police work, but I like it. Uh, Jack, one eye. Who is that? Do we know who that is? I think huh? perhaps it means he only had one eye, Lucy. Huh? No, no, no. There's a casino up north called One-Eyed Jacks, across the border on the Canadian side. That's it. We're going to have to go up there and check that place out. Okay. Leo Johnson, husband of Shelly, drives a this truck. This guy's too uh, obvious, though. Too obvious of a baddie. Unknown. Uh, oh, it can't be him. Leo Johnson, 
Guilty of many other things, but not this. <gasps> or is it? No, I still, no. No. It's too obvious still. Oh, weren't there more names on that list? What? There is so much food in this episode. Oh my word. I'm into it. She, this girl goes to church? Yeah, okay. She loves to dance. I'm gonna go sailing. Uh, uh. So my parents said they saw you at church today. I didn't see you. Yeah, I came by because of Laura. But she did help to take care of my brother, Johnny. Guess I sort of loved her for that. Oh. Agent Cooper loves coffee. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. treat. <laughs> <laughs> Dangerous obsession. Watch out. Did Laura ever talk about my father? Oh, she thinks her dad might have done it. He used to sing to her. God, I love this music. <laughs> yeah, she can't help herself. Uh, that's okay, though. Let it flow. <laughs> Okay. Hawk found this half mile down the tracks from the crime site. Oh, ew. Oh, that's a nasty piece of work. Yeah. Oh, men in black alert. Oh, this is a famous guy. Albert. Albert? A L B E R T. Are we going to have to stand here all afternoon? Oh my gosh, you hold your darn horses. Yes, he is. They are. We're on our way. Agent Cooper will be right with you. Yeah, I can hear perfectly well, Curly. Oh my, yeah, yeah. No, he's rude. I don't like him. I don't expect anything less. No. But I gotta warn you, Albert's lacking in some of the social niceties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't touch people without their consent, though. I have seen some slipshod backwater bergs, but this place takes the cake. Albert, I suggest you and your team should get started. I'll have one of my men escort you over to the morgue. That'd be fine. Results from the local pathologist's report? It's like, guys, take your sunglasses off. You're inside. Stay a while. Oh my god, I hate this person. Looks like an all-nighter, boys. Albert, got a minute? Uh. I hear that you're real good at what you do. Yeah, that's correct. Well, that's good. Because normally if a stranger walked into my station yeah. talking this kind of crap, yeah. he'd be looking for his teeth two blocks up on Queer Street. Yeah, you tell him. Oh, excuse me, what? On where? Mm-hmm. Oh, Ed, I'm so happy, sweetheart. I have to thank you. No, I don't. Ed, you big lug. When you tracked all that grease into the house today. Oh. Oh. But instead of tossing them out, I put the grease the bones on the The best inventions are discovered on accident. And... Okay, okay, great. This is so good for you. Now find out another hobby. Okay. Mm. Everything smells like fish around here. <laughs> Do you got fish in your coffee? What did that FBI man want up here today? Oh, well, he talked to Josie, mostly. I had a problem with a fish. Took a liking to my percolator. <gasps> did she do it? There are so many mysteries in this show. This has got to be close to the top. Here's the key. The ledger's inside. Oh my god. What? Oh my god. Uh... Get your boots off my bed and go to your room! Oh. 
does no one in this town get divorced? It's like, guys, this is not good. Mink oil on my bedspread. <laughs> You've got mink oil on your head. <laughs> Could be good for your scalp. Okay, I am not following this whole <sighs> sawmill situation. That is one empty safe. <laughs> a fakey and a real one. Oh, oh, busted. How? I don't know, but just they're busted. Oh, this guy's having a hard time. Oh, oh no. Oh, I knew it. Oh, oh, dancing with the photograph time. Oh no. <laughs> don't want this to be funny, but it is. <laughs> oh no. Oh, these people are quite the pair. We have to dance here. We have to dance. But Laura. Oh. Oh. Nobody knows. <sighs> That's a lot of emotions going on. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Okay. Oh my god, this is sad. But also, it was kind of funny. Am I a bad person? Oh my god, dream situation. Oh my god. Oh my god, is that him? Why does he look older? Oh my god, what? Oh my god, who? What? Oh my god. Oh! In the darkness of future past, the magician longs to see one chance on between two worlds. What? The... Fire. Walk Whoa. with me. We lived among the people. I think you say convenience store. Huh? Lived above it. I mean it like it is. Like it sounds. What? I too have been touched by the devilish one. Okay. Tattoo on the left shoulder. Oh, but when I saw the face of God, I was changed. Oh my God. I took the entire arm off. Oh my God. Uh... My name is Mike. What? His name is Bob. Oh my God, what? Oh my God, wait, what? Mike, can you hear me? Huh? Catch you with my death bag. You may think I've gone insane, but I promise oh. I will kill again. Oh my god! Oh my god, what? Oh my god, what in God's name is that? Oh my god, just a bad dream. Oh. Oh. What? What? Uh. Oh my 
my god. Uh, what's happening? That's a very good question. Alright, sir. Uh... Okay. Oh, <laughs> Uh, I have no words. I have no words. I don't know what's happening. I don't like this. Why? What's he doing? Is he scheming? Is this a scheme situation? I got good news. Oh, do you? That's the new wash he's going to. Come back in style. That just raises further questions. Okay, well, I don't know how that relates, so. Um, uh, uh -huh. Keep going. She's my cousin. Oh, okay. But doesn't she work? Yeah. Almost exact. You do it wash for yeah. Palmer. Yeah, double ganger. But it it is Laura Palmer. Are you Laura Palmer? I feel like I know her. No. My arms went back. She's very really fish dress. Oh well, okay, sure. Uh. Why are we from the birds sing a freshly song? And there's the worst music in the air. This is going on for too long. I can't keep track. I don't know what's happening. Oh, Jazzy, though. Oh, Strobin. Oh, Jazzy. Oh, okay. Yeah, grooving. Is she gonna get in on it? I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Okay. What a secret! She's filled with secrets, apparently. Okay, this guy's loving it. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Oh, thank God, I needed that to stop. I, I can't, I can't. I, my head, what? Oh my God. Also, his hair. Okay. What? Ooh. Harry. What? It's Cooper. I know who killed Laura Palmer. Why, you got something from that? No, it can wait till morning. What? Okay. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. That's damn fine coffee you got here in Twin Peaks. A damn good cherry pie. Brilliant. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what's going on. <laughs> Oh, but this guy dancing. Oh, oh. Okay, I'm traumatized though. I'm seriously traumatized. I don't understand what. I don't understand. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I need to take a second and write a bunch of things down because I could not look away. But, oh, I need to gather my thoughts. Okay. Okay, um, 
I don't know why I expected these episodes to turn out any differently than making me very confused and um, really into dreams because, yes, that is a David Lynch fascination. Oh boy. Okay. So, a couple of new characters introduced off the hop. Also, I have to say, I got so into watching this episode, I totally forgot to take notes. So now I feel really disoriented, but all right. Right off the hop, we get a few new characters introduced. Then we also find out that One Eye Jax is like a. I don't know what what do you call those kinds of places burlesque kind of a place i guess for lack of a better term we are also introduced to a new character some kind of like agent by the name of albert he's rude i don't care for him i hope he goes away but it sure was great to watch the sheriff stand up to him and then some things i forgot um about characters we already knew i forget that shelly and bobby were getting together there is so much happening i can't keep track but yes that's a thing that's happening and then audrey is it audrey am i getting more and more sympathy for this person as the season progresses i don't know she's a weirdo and she's a troublemaker but she doesn't seem like a bad person anyways obviously standout scene leland dancing around in circles with this girl heartbreaking and hilarious is that possible am i bad for saying that is it wrong that i'm saying that and then there's some chit chat about dreams here audrey talks about the dreaminess of the music and then of course we have dale cooper trying to solve the murder through dream logic it would seem which is um kind of cheating and shoddy police work but i'm into it because it's dale cooper and then he has this dream at the end which apparently reveals the killer but i don't know how he got that from the dream you've got this little person dancing or dancing around to jazzy music He's got the one-armed man in that dream, so they must be related somehow. And then you've got Laura Palmer, full of secrets. We don't know what she said. Oh, is that what she whispered into Dale Cooper's ear? The name of the murderer? But then why can it wait till morning? I did not think it could possibly get this juicy or confusing, but here we are. Here we are. And to top it all off, an episode with lots of delicious food yet again. Guys, I don't know what to make of this. I do not even know. Tell me, uh, were you as blown away? <laughs> were you as blown away as I was when you saw this episode? Uh, uh, without spoilers, is there anything you can add to my thoughts or uh, observations on this last dream sequence because it is wild all right we're gonna have to leave it there what a cliffhanger who's the murderer how are all of these weird people related join me next time for episode four of twin peaks if you like this video and want to see more twin peaks reactions make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to real food